Hello and welcome to my channel Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm going to, before I get into the readings, I just wanted to talk about what's going on planetarily um, in the next week or so. And um, of course we have this full moon lunar eclipse on the 7th which is going to be quite this whole month what's going on planetarily is crazy it's going to be quite intense and potentially volatile this month um, and we are going to be directed to go inside we're going to be encouraged to go inside and to meditate that's always my answer i always say you get peace inside and we're going to need some peace this month <laughs> So the lunar eclipse is happening in Aquarius. And it's happening in the south node. Now what that means is that when the eclipse happens, it's closer to the south node, which means, which represents our past. So we are going to be, um, this month is going to be about endings and new beginnings. And sometimes those endings might not be so welcome. You know, we don't like change, do we? Now we have so many planets retrograde this month. We have Saturn in Sag Sagittarius, Pluto in Capricorn, Neptune and Chiron in um, Pisces. Uh, and then Mercury goes retrograde on the 12th. Now, not only that, Uranus has gone retrograde already by the time you see this on the, on the 3rd and when a planet goes retrograde it's uranus will actually kind of be still on the third right it'll be kind of stationary before it goes retrograde and when that happens um all the symbolism of that planet is intensified so um uranus is the you know it's about shocking things happening it's about surprises it's about opportunities it's about things that happen out of the blue so be <laughs> be prepared now if you get an opportunity you've got to act on it really fast it's about really a fast pace um, it's about you know really reacting fastly and and, and going you know going for it um, people might just pop up for you and listen this lunar eclipse is about really it's about letting go letting go of the past now you know because of uranus people might pop up from your past and you might you you're encouraged to you know you might feel that you are no longer in sync with these people and if you look at them you may have grown outgrown these people so this is a time to kind of let go of those people, let go of the past, if you've been hurt in the past. So it's really a good time. I always say, I always say this about full moon and this eclipse is gonna be really intense. We're going to feel very emotional around this time. Very, it's going to be very uh, turbulent. And listen, when, when, when things are turbulent, Go inside because that's where the peace is. That's where we're going to find peace. Listen, it's free to meditate. Take some deep breaths. Just go into your breath. Connect with, you know, spirit, source energy, and there you will find peace. Um, so this is a time to reflect and look back at your past and really acknowledge how much you've grown and pat yourself on the back and, and feel good about going forward. It, you know, it, re, with renewed energy now there's a really in a really interesting aspect um, happening throughout this month and actually um, it's actually will be happening through to the spring of uh, 2019 so it's really interesting it's like it's a semi square um, between Uranus and Neptune so now the last time this happened was in the 1960s and think about what happened in the 60s you know it's about innovation that's you know uranus it's about music which is neptune it's about spiritual spirituality which is you know uranus it's about an awakening awakening um it's about uranus is about finding your tribe and like minding minding people but you know the, for the highest spiritual reason which is neptune's 
So Neptune is about healing and altered states and, you know, Uranus is about technological advances and, and what's an innovations. And it's interesting because I think over the next few years, we've already seen some technological advances in, in uh, handling the uh, global warming. And I think we are really going to see some really incredible innovations in healing, you know, with nanotechnology and technological advances um, for the environment. I think we're going to see more and more of that over the next few years. And we're definitely seeing an awakening spiritually. You must have noticed that. I feel this this um, energy that's all the way through the month, you know, with the eclipse and everything, we are going to um, feel, we're going to enhance our um, we're going to enhance our psychic abilities and intuition and we're going to we're going to be more centered in that way and going forth into the north node which is going to happen a bit later on in the month you know with um the solar eclipse in leo we're going to be encouraged to be more heart centered where aquarius is you know more intellect and um and more about detachment but community also so we are going to let go of that detachment and we're going to we're going to be encouraged to be more heart-centered and it's really important to be more altruistic and to help people so whatever you're doing you know make it for the higher good of society for everybody um, and I believe that that's going to be really successful for everyone when we so I really think that this month all I can say is with this energy, this intense, potentially volatile energy, really big changes are happening. A lot, a, a lot of planetary actions. It's like, it's like uh, the pinnacle of the year, you know? I mean, there's so much going on. So what we're encouraged to go inside and we're encouraged almost to see life like a river, right? And if you get knocked in the river, go with the flow. Keep your head above water and just allow the river to take you to maybe greener pastures on a bank, you know? And usually it's always for the best. These changes happen suddenly and are for the best. So just go with the flow. Don't try to hang on to the shoreline. Don't try to hang on to stuff. Don't, you know, embrace the change. This month is about embracing the change and just going with the flow. Don't go against the tide. Go inside. Ask for guidance from source, from you know, angelic energy. We are surrounded by source energy. And we, if we tap into that, we'll have inner peace. And we'll be able to see the blessings and, and ride the crest of the wave. And that's what we're going to be encouraged to do this month. So that's what I'm encouraging you to do. And so without further ado, I'm going to go into um, the Hello Aries and welcome to your reading for August the 7th through August the 13th. Um, as we discussed in the intro, we do have the lunar eclipse, the full moon lunar eclipse on Monday and Saturday uh, Mercury goes retrograde. So we're probably feeling that energy um, as well. Um, and okay so um oh thank you so much for liking sharing commenting and subscribing if you haven't already um if you'd like a personal reading you may email mary at liveinthesolution.com all that information actually is down below this is for your sun moon and rising and if you know your moon and rising you can check out the other uh, videos which are in the description box below um, there are links to those videos so you can watch those also um, so anyway I'm going to use seven cards one for each day of the week and it's the general energy for the day and let's see what we have for Aries for August the 7th oh there's definitely okay that's number one Monday, we need, oh, there's Tuesday, oh, 
Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. We need Wednesday for Aries. Wednesday for Aries. Wednesday. Thursday. Oh, we've got it. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Wednesday. Oh, okay. This is for that. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's... Uh, we've got... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We need one more. Sunday for Aries. Sunday for Aries. Oh, darling. They are... Oh, okay. Okay, Aries. So, let's see what we have here. Now... On Monday, we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is this um, intellectual, uh, witty, very clever woman. And she's extremely attractive. It's, it's the, she's the kind of woman that men are really attracted to. But when they realize how, you know, she, listen, she's a master at communicate, uh, communication. And, um, and so when men get to know her, they're intimidated by her intellect and her brutal honesty. <laughs> she can be brute. She's got a sharp tongue. She's got a sharp tongue. Now, when she comes into a reading, um, this is telling you to look, trust your intuition. This is saying, trust your intuition. Go forward, trust your intuition and take action. This is about taking action, but it's really about uh, moving forward, jumping at opportunities. This is like starting, actually, this is about the courage to start something new. Now, this doesn't surprise me because on Monday, of course, we have the full lunar eclipse and it's about endings and new beginnings. So this is about a new beginning. And this is about, you know, letting the past go, right? Really letting that go and start having the courage to start something new, but use your intuition with it. Definitely go for it, uh, Aries. That's what this card is saying, you know? Look at it, um, use your intuition and start, have the courage to start something new. She's very courageous. Um, okay, on Tuesday, we have the Ace of Cups. Now this is from the emotional realm and look at that cup overflowing, you know? It's like abundance. This is, to me is like a gift from the universe. This is like a wonderful, it's going, it seems to be going, it's a never ending abundant cup. This is beautiful. This is a new, sometimes they say that this is a start or, or a deepening of a relationship. So this is, oh, look, you never know. Look, start something new, right? Could be a new relationship. Um, this is about a deeper connection with somebody that you already have. This can be a falling in love card. This is definitely the emotional and relationship realm card. So this could be a deepening relationship with your children even, you know, with your parents, with your family members, with your friendships or with a lover. Um, so that's the general energy. So, I, you know, when this card comes up, it's, it's saying be with your family and your loved ones and make that connection, make it happen. That's, it's a really good day for that on Tuesday. So, um, ah, oh, so on Wednesday, it is the five of pentacles. Now, fives are temporary situations, right? So here we've got this freezing cold out there, right? It's in this barren tree, but there are five, five pentacles in there. There are five big coins. So this to me is saying that sometimes, look, this, this to me means that you're in a place of, uh, 
you're in a place where you're unsure about, you have some kind of money fear, right? It's, it's, it's the money's over there and you can't get to it. And it's, it's an illusion that you can't get to it. So this is like, um, you're going to have some, some money issues that are coming up for you. That's what I'm getting with this. So this is like, but it's a temporary situation. So you have to understand, listen, the law of attraction, you must come out of that fear. Fear is the acronym for forgetting that everything is all right. Um, so fear is forgetting that everything is all right. So, you know, that's the general feeling of that you know, you're in fear of, of not having enough money. This is not having it enough, uh, that feeling of not having enough. So now on Thursday, we go to the Four of Swords. So the Four of Cups is about exhaustion. This is like taking a rest, like you're so exhausted from worrying about money, right? You, you really need to have a break. This is also an indication that, you know, listen, you need to sleep better, that you've got to get to bed and really get a good night's sleep. This, you know, this is like a worry and stress card and you've been worried and stressed over money, right? some of you, of course, Aries, some of you. Um, so this is like, oh, give yourself a break, have a good night's sleep, rest, take a break, you know, go in, meditate. I'm telling you, meditation is like a vacation. When you meditate, it's like a mini vacation. It really de-stresses you. Um, that's Wednesday and Thursday. Now, Friday, we've got the Eight of Cups, which is really kind of this is one of those um, cards that re really kind of resonates with the whole energy for this week. And it's about, it's about moving on, right? This is about emotionally moving on. I mean, some people it's like moving to a different city, a different town, but this is an emotional moving on. This is like telling you, listen, this is time for you to move on emotionally. You've got to let this go. This is the emotional realm card. It's the cups, right? Water. Um, and this is a perfect time to do it. Plus this is Friday, right? And no, this is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Friday and Saturday, Mercury goes into retrograde and it's all that energy. We're in the shadow of it now anyway. It's about slothing. It's about releasing. Um, things and people and places that no longer work for us. And so this is something that you, you this is a puff, it's telling you, you need to move on emotionally. Um, so I'm getting, okay, so this is what I'm getting. You've got to move on from this worry and this, uh, this is an illusion, this worry and this stress over money. Move on, you know, don't stay in it. Don't stay in your head and just move out of it, no matter how you can, because once you move out of this, da da, the sun comes out, right? The light is being shed. You're seeing the truth in a situation. You really are um, seeing the truth in a situation. And so I'm looking at the overall reading and the energy that I'm getting that this, look, things can't, you can choose to have a happier life. Look at that, the sun, freedom. This is freedom from the stress and worry and, and exhaustion. This is freedom. And then the ultimate um, result that you're going to get from releasing all this pain and worry and stress right, is the death card. You, it's going to, all that stress, worry, and obsessive uh, thinking is going to die. This is the death card. And what that means, it means, and it's not, a, don't worry about this card. It's a very good and, and, and misinterpreted a lot. This is an internal transformation. This has shown up in a lot of cards, in a lot of readings this week. So you might want to check out some of the others. So there's a lot of crossover. This is a very, this isn't it. This is, this is, um, this is like the uh, phoenix rising from the ashes, right? You become reborn, 
reborn. Things are really going to be different and get better for you when you make those emotional and internal changes. It's This is about doing some homework here, um, Aries. This is about doing some free writing and really meditating and symbolically by writing something, let that go. Let all your emotional baggage, all your worries, all your cares, turn them over to source energy. You know, let, let, get rid of your burdens. Lighten your weight, give your burdens to um, God or the angels, whatever your belief system is, and you will have a physical and emotional internal transformation. You will come out of this victoriously the sun is shining for you, Aries. You just have to move on. You have to move on. You can't be in this anymore. You know, you can't be in this worry and stress. It's really time to make that change. You know, it's time for something new. It's time. Have the courage. This is, look, this to me is, the, you know, when I'm looking at this, this is your internal journey, right? Monday, this is an internal journey that you must do. And it's about change, embrace this change. Um, as I said in the beginning, it's like jump in the river, right? The river of life and allow the river to carry you where you're, where you're meant to go, um, which is a much better place, I'm sure, than you can even imagine. But it's important to let go of the old you. Shed that skin and come out anew and things are looking really good for you Aries just do the work you know it's not that deep a few deep breaths <laughs> that's how deep it is okay anyway thank you so much for tuning in and watching I really appreciate and love you and I'll see you next week for a personal reading please email mary at liveinthesolution.com